Hello once again everyone and welcome back to Reno High School. We're at Reno High School this month to introduce you to our latest Revilio Way to Go Award winner. He's a young man that probably not too many people call him Ryan Joseph, but everybody certainly calls him RJ. Let me ask you about the nickname, RJ. Your given name Ryan Joseph, how did you end up with RJ? Uh, my parents named me Ryan when I was young and, and, and they said, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna call you RJ from the start. So my parents really started it. And then when I was about in kindergarten, I was like, hey, I'm gonna try and go back to Ryan. And uh, I was like, you know what, I don't really like it. So I'm gonna go back to RJ. I kinda, I've had a couple name switches, but RJ stuck and that's what everybody calls me now. You know, you're a young guy, obviously just getting out of high school. And it's not often you see somebody your age with a bucket list. And I was checking your resume. I see the smile on your face. First of all, it says in your resume that you'd like to visit every major league ballpark. Now, the Los Angeles Angels is your favorite park. Let's start there. Why is it? Uh, when I was about five years old, um, I went to my first ever baseball game at Angel Stadium. Um, so I fell in love. Um, my family's from Southern California, so it's and it's an awesome stadium. I, I love the uh, the waterfall in the back. It just really makes I, just everything about it is awesome. Well, you play full, first base the way pool holes is hitting this year. Maybe you could move in. <laughs> anyway, how close are you to achieving your bucket list? Um, I've been to. I've been to almost, I've been to every park in California, um, and that's that's it. Not very close, but it's not often you see a young man knowing who George Patton was. But you said that was a guy that that you would really have liked to have met sometime or, or know more about. Yeah, I'm a huge history buff. Uh, I, I watched a movie one time with it uh, with General Patton in it, and uh, it, it stuck. My 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 grandfather was a World War II veteran, and so. Uh, it's always something I've really been interested in learning about is World War II, so I love history and I love everything about World War II and General Patton. And I also saw that one of the people you'd like to have dinner with is our former president, George Bush. Now, is it more genealogy or the fact that he was a former president? The fact that he's a former president, and he has my last name, so that's pretty cool. So the fact that he's a former president would be awesome to go to dinner with him. I saw something also. I, we've seen you throughout the year perform so well for the Reno High School Huskies. You batted fourth all year and hit the ball all over the park. But you said in your resume that the toughest guy you've ever played against, or at least batted against, was Chad Qualls. Now, Qualls, there's quite a difference in your age group. When did you run into him? Uh, when I was a sophomore in high school, I ran into him. And then this last summer, he was playing for Rancho summer team down in Las Vegas, and he pitched a couple innings. And uh, me being a left-handed hitter wasn't wasn't the easiest thing in the world because it messes with you mentally and it, it's just it's just tough to hit. But yeah, he's definitely the toughest pitcher I've faced. You know, RJ, graduation coming up pretty soon. Now you've had a real successful career at Reno High School. You played basketball and baseball in your junior and senior years. You played some football young when you were younger as a freshman and sophomore. What are your future plans? What are you going to do after leaving Reno High School? Um, I plan to go to the College of Southern Idaho in Twin Falls. Um, where I'll play baseball for uh, Coach Boomer, and uh, that's the plan right now. I, they showed a lot of interest earlier on, so that's the reason why I'm going there. Then after, when you, once you get out of college, uh, any look at what you want to do in future life? Uh, I've always wanted to get into criminal justice, do something along those lines, maybe become an officer or, or some, some along those lines. That's interesting. General Patton, maybe an officer, public safety. Tell me this about your family's involved in the community. What have you done? What what things in the community have you most proud of that you've been associated with to help other people? Uh, you know, I've been associated with the Boys and Girls Club for for quite a while. I played for the Reno Ballers. Um, I went on a couple of camping trips with younger kids, um, helping them out. In Reno High School, uh, you've been there for four years, and maybe it hasn't hit you yet, but. Tell me maybe your most memorable things at Reno High School. They don't have to be on the athletic field, in the classroom or wherever it is. And maybe, uh, if you will, show us what maybe is your most regrettable thing here that uh, happened to you or you were involved with. Well, the most memorable thing is just walking through those, those halls, the yellow tiles on the, on the wall, which is, which is awesome, the history behind everything at Reno High and all the friends I've made. And uh, my most regrettable thing is earlier in my high school career, I didn't, I didn't get out enough and I didn't, I was more inside and I was, I was quiet more and people didn't know about me or anything like that. So I tried to, I tried to get out more this year and, uh, you know, I led the, led the uh, student section during football games. So, I mean, I tried to do more to get involved with the high school. Yeah, it's fun and you'll look back on these years and enjoy them. And I know in the record book will show you all across it. So 
Hey, congratulations on being our Revilia Way to Go Award winner. We wish you the best in the future. Thank you very much. That is Ryan Joseph, as some people know him, more people know him as R.J. Bush, our Revilio Way to Go Award winner.